it's really about looking at their this own attachment emotion and needs and of course the model of self right how do they see themselves especially in, 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 the, in the context of this relationship step five is a deeper level of step three step three again is still assessing emotions but it's a deeper one in step five uh, there's an increased awareness of and engagement with and ownership of their attachment vulnerabilities right where they hurt more when the wife says, I'm lonely, I cannot reach my husband, every time when I try to share with him about my feelings, my husband gets very logical with me, right? My husband will say, well, that's, you don't need to feel that way. That's silly, right? Uh, it's not so bad. You'll be fine. Just get over it, right? So, so when, when you have enough of that, uh, then that's when the, the wife will feel like, then I can't come to you. I can come to you with my emotional vulnerability, right? So this is also the work, uh, it's what we refer to the three Ds, okay? The deepening, the distilling, and the disclose. The deepening is about me helping the client to, to deepen their emotions, right? From like what we talked about, the loneliness, we might go through the body sensation, we deepen that, and then we help them to distill to, to really talk about what that's like for them, right? Sitting in that place of loneliness, right? How does that or perhaps even affect the, the two of them? And at some point, we're gonna ask them to enact that, to disclose that to their partner. Now again, right, you know that. As I'm, as I'm working with a couple, the partner hears everything we talk about, right? They hears it. But why do we still want them to, to disclose it, right? For, for, the, for the partner to disclose it to their own spouse or their own partner, it's because why? It's because if it's go through me, I just it's just information. It's all up here, right? But if the partner look at you, right, and, and actually start to talk, especially with some emotional piece attached to it, it's not like flat, but it has some emotion intensity to it, even a bit of tears, even about the shaking of a voice, whatever that might look like for this particular partner. Assuming if this partner loves that, loves that person, there will be some emotional impact. Now, they might not always come out and, and really, you know, say it, but there will be some impact, and that's when we can process, okay? So that's where it happens. We want to deepen, distill, and disclose. And then you start with the withdrawal, and then the pursuer, which we talked about, uh, the, the model of self and the models of others are more clear. So the husband I was telling you about earlier, the one who got very logical, the model of self will be, I don't need people. Actually, he's feeling of himself, he's actually quite good, right? But it's the views of others is that you won't be there for me. You're not, you can't handle it, right? So he has more of a, a what, what kind of attachment do you think he has? Style. Avoidant. Avoidant, yes. The wife is the opposite. The wife actually has some trauma attached to it, so it's a, bit, a little bit more anxious, right? So she has more of an anxious style, so she needs that connection. But again, by the time they got to, got to me, uh, she's that probably close to being burned out for suing. She's I, I'm basically, and, and there are times that they will avoid each other, right? Just to make peace, right? Uh, but but the model, so this is where the model of self and the model of others becomes a lot more clear, right? About what's happening to them. And you do do some work around that too in stage uh, two, right? Uh, so again, this is the, the model of self that we talked about before, the secure, when people are secure, uh, this is where the husband uh, is, the dismissing, right? That's why he also dismissed a lot of the wife's uh, uh, the need, the need. For them, this is where you have a high avoidance, right? And also low anxiety, okay? And this is where the wife probably, I would think the wife is along this line because of some trauma, but also she has an anxious style too. So that's what it so looks like for them. So let me ask you. So let's say, for example, uh, in, a, in a relationship, John says that Jolie is unreachable and not there. And he says that he feels like a little kid groveling for attention, right? What is your guess about John's model of self and others? So John is saying this about Jolie, that Jolie is unreachable, can reach, I can reach uh, her, she's not there, and I feel like a little kid groveling for attention. Yeah, Sarah? Uh, his model, he has a negative model of himself. Right. And I think he has a positive model of others. 
Right. Yeah. So what attaching style would you think that might be? So, so that's a good, uh, at least a guess around. Like b based on what you hear about the attachment history and based on the, the cycle of how you see them like dance, that you will have a pretty good idea about what kind of attachment style they might, they might have, right? So we're looking at the model self, model of others, right? Because if they always get stuck in this view of themselves or this view of others, they, they, will, they wouldn't move towards this secure attachment, right? So we're helping them through that. So every time when you pass over primary emotions over, so for example, for, for John, if he can start to talk about feeling uh, this, almost like I can't get to you, I feel like I'm not good enough, I feel like you don't really need me, for example, and sometimes Jody can respond to that in a good way, let's say, then usually that's a bit more of a, I feel safer, right? I feel like I'm a bit more secure, because I now, I'm, as I reach for you, you are there for me. Right? But of course, if Jody respond negatively or doesn't respond, then, then what will happen? Then John say, I knew it. That is exactly what happens at home. You're not there, I can't reach for you, nobody will be there for me. So they, they have to sort of uh, either chase after it on their own or find other ways to escape. Right? That sometimes you see perhaps like addiction happens. Right? Does it make sense so far about, about what we're looking at? Any questions around this? about step five, six, seven.